This guy, Nehemiah, whoa, he blows me away. As you know, the Israelites were in exile, meaning that years and years ago, the Babylonians had attacked the Israelites and taken the people captive. Well, that was generations ago, and now many of the Israelite people were returning to their homeland, specifically to the capital city of Jerusalem. Now, I was the king of Persia during this time, and Nehemiah here, an Israelite, well, he was my cupbearer. He brought me wine one day, and he looked like I had never seen before. He was really sad. Nehemiah looked so sad that day, I asked what was going on. I said, you look sad. Well, then he tells me that he heard news from his people, the Israelites who have returned to the city of Jerusalem. The news of the day, that city was the walls were broken down. The gates were burned. Now, when he first received this news, he sat down and bawled his eyes out. It was kind of embarrassing, but it is what it is. But then, then he asked an important thing. He sat down, he bowed his head, and he prayed. He prayed that God would help him do something about that wall. Hmm. So I asked him, what is it that you want to do? He takes a moment, and guess what he does? He prays again, and he asks, God, right there, right in front of me, the king. Then he says to me, please send me to the city of Jerusalem so I can rebuild the gates and the walls and rebuild Jerusalem. And he was serious. And you know what? At that moment, well, I believed he could do it because I could see that he was leaning on God's strength. Well, that was pretty much Nehemiah's pattern. He prayed at every turn. I did allow him to go to Jerusalem to build it. <sighs> But that man, whew. but the main thing is that he knew he couldn't do it on his own. He knew that only if he stayed tied to God that he could pull this thing off. And so he always prayed. And every challenge, at every victory, at every turn, the guy prayed. He stayed tied to God. Okay, little doggies. I'm down, I'm out, King Artaxerxes over and out.